Robert Epp knows how important a tent city like this can be to the people who live there. It's a place of sanctity, it's a place of, of uh, security for a lot of people that are vulnerable, especially to violence. He was homeless just a few years ago. Now a Strathcona resident, he lives a few blocks away from the park and wants to make a difference. What we're trying to do here is, is have a citizen's patrol here in Vancouver to offset all the problems that, uh, that have been happening in the neighborhood, especially with the high stress with uh, the tent city. A patrol aimed at alleviating tensions. Conflicts have erupted in the Strathcona neighborhood. Many longtime residents unnerved by things like public drug use and discarded needles. I think the level has, has risen of, of tension, of anxiety. There's definitely tension around people wanting to use the park but being unable to. And I guess with kind of having kids in the area as well, it's felt as not as safe. Organizers are looking for volunteers to take part in the proposed citizen patrol. It's modeled after successful programs in Winnipeg and Regina. The goal is to defuse conflicts before they end in violence or with a call to police. There's better ways of, of communicating with, with, our, with our community members other than police. Well-intentioned but not without critics from inside the camp. I appreciate their enthusiasm. I am very disappointed in their lack of consultation. Camp liaison Chrissy Brett says the camp is planning to organize its own team. If they want to find another neighborhood that they want to create the Bear Paw Patrol, I would suggest that they consider doing that in their own neighborhood along Hastings Street and we'll take care of our own over here. A neighborhood divided, but some just want everyone to feel at home. A kind word goes a long way. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.